While the FDA warned that hackers could mess with your connected medical device, you may have missed the hand crank for your phone that would make Henry Ford proud, the fork that jolts food into tasting good, and scientifically nifty cleaning bubbles. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where cleaning with the power of bubbles won't cue these guys for much longer. Let's go! Virginia Tech researchers have come up with a replacement for all those chemical cleaners being used on fruits and vegetables. The National Science Foundation helped fund research into using cavitation bubbles for sparkly clean produce. The bubbles are created with electric sparks, which creates a shock wave that removes particles. They teamed with food scientists to get E. coli and salmonella off of tomatoes and cantaloupe. Since many farmers markets sell unwashed produce, a little bubble bath action on either end of the purchase would be great. That's right, salmonella city at those things. Foodies who have not lost their appetites will be into this. Japanese scientists are tapping into schoolyard stunts to get that perfect umami spice on your fork. Oh! Human augmentation researcher Hiromi Nakamura created an electric fork she promises will add a new dimension to your food, a non-fatal one, supposedly. The low current is said to enhance flavor and trick taste buds into different sensations. Electric chicken, anyone? Hmm. Mm. Watching your phone's battery die because you forgot its power cord at home is the worst. But with the Ampware case, you'll never have to fight for an outlet at the coffee shop or beg your coworkers like a weirdo, or just like a Tuesday. It's a phone case that incorporates a hand-cranked generator. Spinning the handle for five minutes will get you about 20 minutes of talk time or up to an hour of normal usage, whatever that is. That much cranking will probably give desk dwellers their first workout in years, but still beats the old days. And finally, the slow-mo guys from YouTube are back with a beautiful 4K view of what a drill bit looks like as it splatters paint on a canvas. I'm gonna go rewatch Conan the Barbarian now. See ya. This episode was brought to you by Go90.